everyone talks about the beauty of Ritter Forest. But no one ever mentions the horrors that lie within when the sun goes down. Or more importantly, when the moon comes out. notice and I don't know why you want me to go on a hike with your family just come on you know it's for my brother and dad thinks you can help so um pops where are we going it's a sacred place I finally found it I've been searching for years searching for years what are you searching for I've been searching for a cure, and by God, with your help, Schuler, I think we found it. I think you've finally gone senile, Dad. Don't worry, Schuler. He won't give me a straight answer either. <laughs> You'll all find out when we get there. Dad, where are you taking me? You won't believe me till you see it. Well, why don't you just tell me so that I can see if I believe you? Ah. Come on, Dad. This isn't funny anymore. Tell me, what did you find? All right, I'll tell you where we're headed. We're headed to a druid circle. I found one in the heart of the forest. That's impossible. There are never any druids in West Virginia. That's just what they want you to think. Gather around and I'll tell you the truth of it. Picture it. France, back in the time of antiquity when people still called it Gaul. Back then, when Julius Caesar's thirst for conquest caused him to set his sights beyond Gaul and onto a land that lay across a narrow strip of sea, a land called Britannia. That's when things took a little bit of a turn. He set sail for undiscovered country. When the Roman legions landed on Britannia, Caesar made war with Boudicca, the queen of the Druids. These Romans, they behave like wolves, descendants of wolves. They take, they always take. In Breton, we know how to deal with the problem of wolves. We will smash their fangs, rip out their claws, and feed them their own hearts as they whimper. Boudicca was a fierce warrior, but she wasn't no match for a hundred Roman legions. Heck, who was? Nobody, that's who. If you don't believe me, just check the history books. What do Boudicca and Julius Caesar have to do with you dragging us to an alleged druid circle in the heart of Ritter Forest? Because Boudicca wasn't no fool. She saw the writing on the wall. Britannia was going to belong to Rome. The wolf's pack is large and their thirst for blood is great. But the rabbit, the rabbit is swift and resourceful. I will summon my druids the wisest from Breton, and the craftiest from Wales. We will have a sacred ritual. We will commune with the oldest and truest gods of this ancient island. They will show us the way. 
You can show us a place. A place where the rabbits can build their war. And the wolves can never reach us. She called her wisest and craftiest druids from all over Breton and Wales. And she held a desperate ritual. They all got naked under the moon of a winter solstice and communed with the ancient and forgotten gods of the forest. Those long forgotten gods told Boudicca of a place far from the reach of Rome, way across the sea. Are you talking about here? Are you talking about America? I'm talking about here, but back in 55 BC, nobody had any idea what America was. And you're saying that all the Druids came to West Virginia to escape the Romans. Don't be ridiculous. Boudicca didn't have enough boats for a full-scale migration, but she did have a plan. The warrior queen summoned her most respected druid master and his five most promising apprentices. She gave these druids 13 soldiers from the queen's own bodyguard as an escort, then snuck them out under the cover of darkness on a boat that didn't amount to much more than a dugout canoe. Really? A canoe? You better believe it. And guided by the old gods of the wind and sea, they made it to the New World more than 1,500 years before Christopher Columbus. But she sent less than 20 people. What did she hope to accomplish? Boudicca knew her people were more than just flesh and bone. They were traditions. And as long as the traditions lived on, her people would live on. Looks like they didn't work out very well for them. Nobody even knew they were here. What a bunch of losers. I wouldn't be so quick to say that, Myrtle. A lot of people think that the shaman and the medicine men from the first tribes, the first nations in this country, they think they might have been carrying on that very same druidic tradition from those original six druids, especially in the Ohio Valley tribes like the Shawnee. That sounds like some kind of culture appropriation whitewashing nonsense to me. Ah, eh, you're probably right. But I'm not just white. I'm Filipino by marriage. And more importantly, your druid circle's up ahead. Wow! This is an amazing archaeological discovery! I can't believe you found it! I had a little help from a park ranger, a guy named Newton. You mean duck? Duck Newton? Yeah, that's the guy. I thought he was up in Kepler, Dad. Yeah, he was, but he transferred down to Ritter about a year ago. Why were you looking for a druid circle in the first place? It's on account of Buford here. He has a condition. Are you talking about my blackouts, Dad? Son, we only told you they were blackouts to protect you from the truth. What truth? Buford, you suffer from a druidic curse. It's called the malediction of Eratech. The malaffliction of what? The malediction of Eratech. It's the same thing that afflicted the man-wolves of Ossery. Man-wolves? Yes, Buford. I don't know how to say it. Just say it, Myrtle. Just spit it out. Buford, you're a werewolf. A werewolf? <laughs> That's impossible. I'm sorry, but I'm with Buford on this. Believe it or not, it's true. Here, I'll prove it. This here, this is wolf spain. Come on, Buford, why don't you go ahead and take it? Uh, I don't know, Dad. That stuff smells toxic. Does it smell toxic to you? I, I don't understand. I don't smell anything. See what I mean? Schuler, my dad's telling the truth. My brother is a werewolf. You guys are serious, aren't you? I'm dead ass, like the kids say. And you think this, this druid circle can help? I still don't understand. Yes, don't. Schuler. I think that all these ancient forces being channeled through this circle just might break Buford's curse. You really think I'm cursed? Shut up, Buford. Grown-ups are talking. You've convinced me, Pops. What do we need to do? That's where you come into play, smart guy. I need you to figure out how to get the, the power of the ancient force flowing through this place again, all through this circle just like it did 2,000 years ago. I don't know how to do that, Pops. I didn't study magic at MIT. I got a PhD in engineering. Just hear me out. Damn it, Pops. I'm an engineer, not a magician. Come on, Schuler. Think about it. What is magic other than science we haven't figured out yet? 
Do you really think there are scientific principles at work here? Of course! These geomagnetic fields, they have to be doing something. And the trees, all that xylem and phloem and photosynthesis and whatnot, it all combines to create what the druids called the, the ancient force. force. Fine, Pops, you convinced me. I'll grab my energy meter and I'll have a look. I knew you could do it, buddy. What have we got to do? We must apply isolated points of pyrotherm energy elevated upon paraffin pillar containment devices. Gee, Mr. Schuler, I don't know if we have all that. Candles, Buford. He's talking about candles. That's right, Pops. And I always have candles in my wilderness survival kit. We just need to spread the candles around the periphery and light them. What do we do now? We wait for the microatmospheric adjustments to set up the necessary convection currents to direct the flow of the ancient force to the circle. You're a genius, Schuler. My family owes you a debt of gratitude we'll never be able to repay. Buford, stand in the center of the circle. Everyone else, stand back. All right, Buford, let's see what the Kindles can do. shelter over the hill. Get to it. Oh, forgive me, son. Look, Schuler, there's the shelter up ahead. I've got to 
get to that shelter! Oh. Help! Help, son! Come on, be a good Squatchy Scout and help out an old man! Oh. Help! Come on, son! Be a good Squatchy Scout! Help an old man get up! Yes, sir. Helping folks is the Squatchy Scout way. Here's the shelter. Come on in and hide. How did you know where this place was? Well, my dad used to take his hiking here all the time. God, I hope he gets here soon. I'm really worried about him. Don't worry, Myrtle. Pops is a crafty old coot. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. goes unpunished. See you later, Squatchy! Jesus, I found you guys. See, Myrtle, I told you he'd make it. Oh, Dad, I was worried I'd never see you again. I've got Bad Buford distracted for a minute, but he'll be out here looking for us again soon. I think the best thing we can do is stay down and stay quiet and hope he passes us on by. But what do we do if he doesn't? Then we'll do what we have to do. There should be a hunting rifle in here somewhere. What's a gun doing in a hiking shelter? They've been having all kinds of trouble with cocaine bears out here. The rangers have put out some rifles so the hikers could at least have a fighting chance. That sounds beyond irresponsible. Well, Duck Newton's bad decisions just might save your life, big guy, because I found the rifle. What are you going to do with it? Ooh. I'm going to give my son some peace. You can forgive me. <laughs> oh, heck, I should have used a silver bullet. But it's like Sensei Randy says death before dishonor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, my, my spleen, why? That's my favorite organ is the spleen. Oh God, the shouting, what's going on? No, Myrtle, don't look. You don't have to watch this. My dad, he... he didn't make it, did he? Honestly, he wasn't even close. I don't even know what we're gonna do without dad. I mean, like, what made him think he was capable of winning? I at least hope he didn't suffer. Did your dad think he knew karate? God damn that sensei, Randy! He's the one responsible for all this! There's no use throwing blame around. Let's just acknowledge the fact that whether you loved him or hated him, no one's ever going to forget meeting Pops. You're right. There's definitely going to be a big Reginald Pops Wendell Schnatt shaped hole from the world. My dad loved soda so much, he developed a habit of drinking not one, but two Pops at the same time. Really? I think that would be a little worrisome. <sighs> not for my dad. People would come from two or three counties away just to watch him drink his soda Pops. Are you sure? That story doesn't sound very credible at all. Out-of-towners would ask, 
Are you going to drink those two pops? And my dad would answer, for sure. What? Eventually, everybody in our part of the state started calling them two pops for sure. And then they shortened it to just pops. No, not until a few years later. There was this other guy across the river, but his thing was, instead of chugging two 12-ounce sodas, he just chugged one 24-ounce fountain drink. Ice and all. I have to admit, that's strangely impressive. I guess a lot of people thought so, too. They started calling the guy Biggie Sodas. <sighs> Did they now? Absolutely. One day, my dad mumbled, enough is enough, and then jumped into his Z28 and drove into Ohio. And the next morning, Biggie Sodas was nowhere to be found. And here we are, 30 years later, and he still hasn't been seen. Yeah, I think your dad murdered him. And when he came home that day, he traded in his Camaro for a Lincoln. And everybody just called him simply Pops. <laughs> and nobody, I mean nobody, challenged him on fizzy drinks ever again. Oddly niche flex. But, you know, violence isn't always the solution to every problem. What do you mean? Maybe we don't have to fight your brother! That is not my brother out there. That is Bad Buford. Okay, then maybe we don't have to fight Bad Buford. Maybe we can find a way to communicate with him or with the good Buford that's still in there somewhere. You think my brother is still somewhere in there? In that monster? <sighs> it's like Pop said. Magic and science are all the same thing. Our bodies are just big bags of molecules. All the molecules that make up good Buford make up bad Buford too. They're just arranged in a different order. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense when you put it that way. All I have to do is bounce the data through the central ribosome and the correct neurons and the correct frequency, and then I can speak with your brother! Do you really think you can do that here? In the middle of the forest with nothing more than what we have with us? Bet! All I have to do is reverse the polarity of my energy meter, and I can do it no problem. Oh, Shula, you're amazing! Wish me luck. Buford, if I've tuned this correctly, you should be able to hear me. It's me, your friend, Schuler. Can you let me know if you can hear me? Buford, I need you to reassert control. Your sister needs good Buford right now, not bad Buford. Yes, Buford, you're coming back to us. Go ahead, give me your hand. Come with me. I can reattune the flow of the ancient forest through your body and help get rid of this hideous monster wolf form of yours forever! Oh snap! Oh. Buford, we love and support you! We're not gonna let you suffer like some kind of monster! You broke my nose! You broke my nose! That's it, Dad. If you can hear me, I'm all alone. Somehow I knew life would always come down to just me and Buford. What would you want me to do? You'd want me to hunker down and hide, wouldn't you? Well, I guess that's what I'll do.
out there. I heard that noise. <sighs> I'm sick and tired of all these cocaine bears making a ruckus around here. Oh! Oh! I hear you, you are sign cocaine addict. Getting all high and howling at the moon. I'm gonna give you what you got coming to you for turning our park into a furry drug den. Sweet baby Jesus! gonna keep running and the bodies are gonna keep piling up they're just gonna keep piling up unless unless I stop him I remember my softball days so batter up <laughs> I know you're out here, Buford. You might as well come face me. You remember what Dad always taught us, right? You know what I'm talking about. In this family, we take care of our own. Well, now I'm taking care of you, and I'm putting a stop to this bloodshed. Come on, you're not afraid of your big sister, are you? Besides, don't dogs like to play with sticks? <laughs> Over Buford. <sighs> yeah, Buford. This is far from over. It's hopeless. I can't kill him. I can't cure him. What can I do? Turtle, use the force. Use the ancient force. Schuler, how? Is that you? You're you're dead. Are you a ghost? Whoa! Slow down there, Egon. I've become something more powerful than you could ever imagine. 
I have become one with the ancient force. <laughs> kind of a weird flex, but you do you, buddy. Kind of rude, but how's this for a flex? I know how to help your brother. You big dead idiot, why didn't you lead with that? Jeez, Myrtle, what happened to your sense of common courtesy? What happened? I got my eye gouged out, that's what happened. I got my everything gouged out, but I can still be polite. Ah, you got me there. Okay, how do we help Buford? To start with, you need to lead him back to the Druid Circle. Oh, is that all? Pfft. How do you expect me to do that? There's only one way you can do it. You have to fight your way there. <laughs> you really shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition. Um, fight your way there? You must? <laughs> oh my gosh. You just yelled at me, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> But you really think I can fight all the way back to the Druid Circle? I think you can, and I know you can. One thing my connection to the Ancient Force has shown me is that you are indeed the Werewolf Fighter. Wait, what is the Werewolf Fighter? You know Rome was the mortal enemy of the Druids, and Rome was founded by Romulus and Remus, who were raised by wolves and- Hold on, hold on. If this is more of that crap that my dad was talking about, just skip it and get to the point. Okay. You are the reincarnated spirit of Bodica, destined to fight all men who behave as wolves. <laughs> and right now I'd say Buford qualifies. I wasn't planning on going down without a fight anyway. So which weapon's better, the machete or the bat? Neither. You'll use Bodica's gifts. You'll use the ancient force. You can feel the geomagnetic fields and the photons of the moonlight and xylem and phloem. You'll anticipate your brother's every move. I feel it, Schuler. I do. I feel the ancient force. I can do this. I know you can. Now get to it, and I'll be waiting for you at the Druid Circle. You got it. Oh, and Myrtle, just one more thing to remember before you go. Yeah? What's that? Wolfman has knives! Keep fighting! You're almost there! <laughs> uh. 
You've made it, Myrtle. Now you must complete the ceremony. Correct the errors of my calculations. How do I do that? You need to light a sixth candle. I lit five for the Druid's apprentices, but I forgot the most important one. I forgot the candle for the Master Druid. I just saved you, that's what happened. But he's still out there, brother. He's still out there somewhere. Who's still out there? martial arts from an app now all i can do is cyber punch and slap i learn martial arts from an app now all i can do is cyber kick and slap i learn martial arts from an app all i can do is cyber kick and slap cause i learn martial arts from an app now all i can do is cyber kick and slap Pick up, put up in the air and the other on the ground if you're running at me then i have to knock you down have to knock you down Learn martial arts from an app. Now all I can do is cyber kick and slap. Now all I can do is cyber kick and slap. Cause I learn martial arts, I learn it from an app. <laughs>